As we all know, there are some amazing machines in this world that do a great number of different things. That's why today we'll be covering a number of these for you to learn more about. Remember to like and subscribe if you enjoy this type of content. Panther low loaders have gained popularity among a long list of low loaders. These can transport payloads weighing 80 to 100 tons. A unique lifting system is attached to the trailer's rear wheels, which lowers or raises the unit as needed. The Panther Series 2 low loaders are not just stable, but also have a high ground clearance and can be operated remotely. The Savannah Global Model 1720 is an amazing stump puller tractor attachment. It's able to pull stumps 4 to 23 inches in diameter under a variety of soil conditions. After removal, the rotary rake tumbles the stumps into windrows free of soil to be burned or ground in the field. At an optimal drive speed of 3 to 4.5 miles per hour, it is able to cover 3 to 4 acres per hour. JCB's Fast Track Tractor Series is on its way, setting new world records as the fastest production tractors in the world. Fast Track 1 can hit speeds of 103.6 miles per hour, and the new Fast Track 2 can now hit speeds in excess of 150 miles per hour. Here it's seen moving with the GIMI snowplow attachment. Everyone who tries to learn to roller skate tries to walk while holding someone's shoulder. Sleipner's one-of-a-kind transportation system is based on the same idea. When attached to the chains of a crawling crane, these units function similarly to rolling skate shoes. Then, to transport the machine, support is required, which is provided by placing its bucket arm in the trailer. If you think this was accomplished through a cheap trick, you'd be wrong. These transportation systems are 100% effective, they save 85% of the time and 50% of transportation costs. The T2A2 is known as the world's second largest dump truck. 
The empty T2A2 weighs 240 tons, which is equal to the weight of 130 standard cars. To transport it along the road, the National Group decided to remove its wheels before the loading. Then, a road rail powered by two powerful trucks is used to carry it. Police helped escort this beast throughout its journey. Con cranes reach stackers are made to reach the highest areas, able to handle 10 to 46 tons of empty containers. Intermodal handling of up to 45 tons and barge handling of 45 tons with industrial handling of 35 to 80 tons. The mobile boat hoist by Marine Travel Lift is the boat lifter you need to ease all of your problems. It is able to lift power boats, sailboats, tugs, and fishing boats with a lifting capacity of 75,000 kilograms or 165,000 pounds. The intelligent readout system, mechanical 90 degree steering wheel, makes it a lifter with a lot of muscle of its own. With an 88 to 154,000 pound payload, this slag pod carrier carries out independent pickup and set down of slag pods. Having low maintenance costs and dumping angles of up to 130 degrees, it is a device that is extremely easy to operate. It has 300 horsepower, being up to 15 feet high and 35 feet long. The BOMAG BMP8500 is an articulated, radio-controlled, multi-purpose compactor. With an operating weight of just under 1.6 tons, the multi-purpose compactor achieves outstanding compaction results in soil compaction in trench, sewer, and pipeline construction. It is robust enough to bear any accidents. You can even throw heavy stones on it, or it can be dropped off from a height. However, it has an AI system for the safety of others that makes it stop when someone is close to it.
The Backhus A38 achieves maximum output in a wide range of applications, including green waste composting and the treatment of contaminated soils. It offers three tracked versions of its windrow turners to provide the best possible match to the ground. Rubber pads are commonly used on asphalt or concrete surfaces. For unpaved terrain, a double grouser steel shoe is used. The steel shoe wears less, whereas the rubber pad version is easier to replace and thus less expensive. From Lindsay, a road zipper on the Golden Gate Bridge. In certain regions, traffic can be quite dense at different times. Particularly for crossing this bridge, there are separate rush hours in both directions. Before rush hour comes, the road zipper moves these barriers from one side of the road to the other. When this occurs, a lane is removed from one side while one is added to the other, giving more room for traffic. I personally think it's pretty satisfying to watch it move all of those pieces in a wave. Up next from Liber, a ship-mounted excavator collecting silt from a lake bed. Most of the excavators that we get to see are massive tracked vehicles that work on a construction site. These, however, do not float very well. When an excavator is needed to be used offshore, a system such as this one can be employed. The rotating arm of the excavator is mounted onto the rear of the ship with significant reach and lift capacity. Though not commonly employed, they're most useful when you need to collect something in a shallow body of water. This tractor-mounted sod peat cutter is renowned for its high rate of production. It is capable of producing up to 9 to 11 tons of sod peat per hour. Various lengths of cutting blades are available, depending on the depth of a customer's peat bog, i.e. short booms for shallow peat and longer blades to reach the better quality black peat. The cutting blade is fitted with a hydraulic pressure relief valve and chain protection at the bottom of the cutting boom preventing damage should the machine meet an obstruction. First up is the Comtech Wood Shredder. No matter how much wood you have, it'll break it down into a fine particulate. Here we have another model, for rubber. Sharp cutting blades and a powerful diesel engine make Comtech machines incredibly versatile. This heavy ship is docking in Melbourne, Australia. It arrived with a Liebherr PR776, the world's largest hydrostatic dozer. Because of its intelligent driveline and hydraulic systems, the dozer provides class-leading performance and constant ease of control. 
It is packed with cutting-edge features, not limited to its uncompromising safety for drivers, a hydrostatic travel drive that automatically adjusts the operating speed to the load conditions, and a 768 horsepower engine for tough mining and extraction operations. The blade on the PR776 is mounted very close to the mainframe. This achieves the best torque and assures optimal filling to the edge. The mainframe is constructed using a proven box section design which provides maximum torsional stiffness and optimal absorption of forces. To put it simply, it's remarkable. The Talon 2000 We're going to show you a machine that has revolutionized the process of fusing large diameter thermoplastic pipes. Its powerful jaws tightly grip a 78 inch diameter pipe after which a facer unit fits the ends of the two lines together. Lastly, a heater fuses the attachment area by heating. The Talon 2000 is capable of lifting a pipe from the ground, positioning it and moving it along the pipeline. In a nutshell, the Talon 2000 is quite a remarkable machine. The Svetruck TMF32-22 is a powerful log stacker that is surprisingly simple to use. Grapple sizes range from 8 to 9.5 square meters. It has 360 degree rotation and has unmatched accuracy while rotating longitudinally. The machine has been developed to offer an optimal work environment for the operator while also promoting high production capacity. The overarching goal in its design has been supreme safety for its operators and to maximize efficiency for the duration of their shift. Deep driven piles are the basic foundations that hold large building structures. The heads of piles are cropped to join the upper structures of the building. This process is simply known as pile cropping. For such a task, the SV400 is nearly ideal. It takes power from the hydraulic pump of a mounted backhoe or full revolving excavator. Its inner part has four drills that break the square shaped piles from all sides.
the Teledipper arm. It is 30 meters long and can be used on a 35 ton excavator with a 1.5 cubic meter bucket. These are specifically designed for construction works where a depth reach of around 140 feet is required. The arm has hydraulic support and slide rollers for telescopic features. A camera mounted on the arm aids in the operation's execution. Almost every construction project starts with soil compaction, but this sometimes causes cracks in nearby walls and floors. To solve this problem, the SBV was devised with a unique directional vibratory mechanism. Its vibratory forces only impact in the vertical direction. They proved it by putting a water glass nearby and applying a 160 kN compression force at a rate of 70 Hz. You can see the results for yourself. You're now looking at a unique tractor mountable tool built by Savannah Global. This unit has five large blades and a heavy duty tractor is required to use it. It is actually a rotary brush rake used for ground clearance. The rotation of the blades pulls out dead plants by their roots. This is so that the land can be cultivated again or used for some other use. The machine can clear an area of 40 acres per day. Next on our list is Cone Crane's Heavy Duty Tire Lifter. This beast is built with 32 tons of forklift with a tire handler. These features make light work of lifting, rotating, and shifting up to 16 tons of a tire. Whether for maintenance on mine sites or in the case of stacking tires, the Cone Cranes provides all tire handling solution for mining, port, and intermodal applications. They have equipped it with the latest technology to boost productivity and performance. In short, it's incredibly amazing. Hey guys, thanks for watching and we really hope that you enjoyed the video. If you have any thoughts about what you just watched or have ideas for future videos, comment them down below. If you enjoyed what you just saw, feel free to like and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the notification bell too. Thanks for watching and we hope to catch you next time.